Welcome to Midra Command and welcome to Singapore. So this is my third time in Singapore, so in this episode I'll be going deeper into Fort Soloso, seeing the night garden and going on the nighttime safari. So here we go. So you have to excuse for sunglasses, but this is Soloso Beach. So Singapore doesn't actually have any seasons, which means it is like this all year round. And the funny thing I find about Soloso Beach is, even though this looks perfect here, if you look out, you can see lots of boats, shipping boats that is, because Singapore is one of the biggest shipping and trading hubs in the world. Fort Soloso was built by the British in the 1800s to protect Singapore and protect the cargo coming in and out from piracy. The fortress was only really built as a deterrent to look like it could deter an enemy force. Unfortunately, when it came to World War II, the bluff was called and the enemy invaded from the other side. The enemy hasn't come by sea as we thought, so they're firing on the oil installations on Pulau Buka. In 1941, the Japanese attacked but didn't get to this base until 1942, which was held out until the very last man. And it was in the building behind me that the British surrendered to the Japanese in 1942. The white flag and Union Jack were as little as the men carried them into the fort. They had lost to an enemy deemed incompetent in battle and given up what was built as the Empire's greatest fortress in the East. During the occupation, British prisoners of war were split up. Some were imprisoned in Chang'ai prison, some continued to administer Singapore, and some were sent to Thailand to build the Thai Burma Death Railway. The British returned in 1945 and continued to use Fort Soloso right up until Singaporean independence. After then, it was abandoned until 2006 when it was reopened as a museum. We're switching off the lights to go north of Singapore to the nighttime safari inside Singapore Zoo. You become centimetres away from rare and deadly animals in the darkness with only low level lighting guiding you the way. The whole thing is a very impressive experience because of the intensity and expectations are so high. This is Singapore's cloud dome. It's completely climate controlled, from the rain to the wind to the temperature control. It's even believed a cloud has been formed here before. Stay tuned for the next stop in this series where I go to Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam followed by Hong Kong. During the Fort Soloso segment in this video, I showed a scene where I visited the Hellfire Pass, part of the Death Railway in Thailand. This was a part of the previous video, where I explored the British history in Thailand, followed by Yangon in Myanmar, Burma. This video is available on my YouTube channel, Midrek Men's.